Post-traumatic stress disorder is an anxiety disorder that occurs after the individual has experienced a traumatic event in their lives. Depending on the severity of the event, the trauma can range from mild to intense. I've recently had personal experiences with mild PTSD due to complicated family dynamics. I'm still in the process of healing, but on this journey of moving forward, I want to spread awareness and explore the different types of PTSD with all of you. Whether you're still battling PTSD after many years or have a fresh emotional wound, know that everything you've endured up to this point is still worth fighting. After this video, please be sure to also check out our video on how to cope with it. Here are five types of PTSD. One, normal stress response. The normal stress response occurs when adults experience one distinct event that disrupts their entire life. When they go through this type of post-traumatic stress disorder, many have a hard time locating their emotions and feel cut off from reality, making it hard for them to maintain and form relationships with others. According to Psych Central, this is a mild type of PTSD, and people who experience it can usually recover within a few weeks. When I first moved out of my parents' house, I experienced normal stress response. I had to escape a toxic situation that left me feeling emotionally scarred. I couldn't even look at my boxes of belongings without having a breakdown the first couple of weeks. It took me a while until I felt ready to unpack everything into my new house. One helpful method you can use to cope is by joining a support group. When you attend group meetings, you'll meet others who have also experienced traumatic events and explore ways to provide solutions and closure in order to heal and move on. Two, comorbid PTSD. According to Psych Central, when someone has comorbid PTSD, they're also commonly diagnosed with another psychiatric disorder, such as depression, alcohol or substance abuse, panic disorder, or other anxiety disorders. Dr. Peter Turk, an associate professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences at the Medical University of South Carolina, states PTSD has always overlapped with depression and vice versa. This is why war veterans often experience comorbid PTSD when they're fighting off more than just trauma. It's a hellish nightmare ingrained in both their bodies and brains when they may resort to unhealthy sources such as drugs and alcohol to try to forget the frightening exposures they've seen and experienced. They may also live with guilt, knowing that they've hurt someone in combat, which can influence them to go into self-destruction mode, believing they deserve the pain they've inflicted upon themselves. It's important to know that when treating this type of PTSD, it's most effective when it's treated with the other psychiatric disorder together, rather than in a linear before and after fashion. Three, acute stress disorder. When someone has this type of PTSD, they may forget things unnaturally and frequently, which can disrupt their everyday activities, including work, sleep, and hygiene habits. This type of PTSD is least common out of all the five types. This disorder may be triggered when someone experiences a heavy burden suddenly, such as losing a close loved one too soon, or experiencing a natural disaster where they lose their home to a hurricane, earthquake, or tornado. When seeking treatment for acute stress disorder, one option includes removing yourself from the event that's triggering it. For example, if someone just lost their home, it's best advised for them to seek shelter and move away from their damaged neighborhood. Other common treatment options include taking medication prescribed by a health professional and talking to a psychologist. If you're scared about seeking help from a professional, we provide some helpful insights from our video here. Please be sure to check it out later. Four, uncomplicated PTSD. Uncomplicated PTSD is actually more complicated than it sounds. This type of PTSD causes the individual to experience their traumatic event over and over again, which may discourage them to come into contact with similar situations associated with it. For instance, rape victims may experience this type of PTSD when they avoid people of the opposite sex or avoid relationship building and intimate acts altogether. When seeking treatment for uncomplicated PTSD, the individual should look into talk therapy with a psychologist and take the proper medication prescribed to them. Five, complex PTSD. Complex PTSD, otherwise known as disorder of extreme stress, 
occurs in individuals who have experienced traumatic events for an extended period of time. Examples of this include childhood abuse, whether it's verbal, physical, and or sexual. Similar to comorbid PTSD, individuals with this type of PTSD also suffer from another psychiatric disorder. But according to Psych Central, these individuals are frequently diagnosed with borderline antisocial personality disorder or disassociative disorders. Unfortunately, people with complex PTSD take much longer to heal and require help from specialists. If treatment is not sought, people with this type of PTSD can run into various problems, such as eating disorders, drug abuse, and self-destructive behavior. Are you struggling with PTSD? Please share your stories with us below. We want you to know that you're not alone and remind you that you're stronger than you think you are. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and share this video for a free e-copy of our magazine on substance abuse awareness. Use the code PSI Power. With your help, we can reach more people to spread awareness on mental health issues. Thanks for your support, really and truly. We wouldn't have gotten this far without each and every one of you. This video was inspired by one of our community members who is a brave survivor of PTSD.